Hey guys, so I realize this may be kind of a long video because I'm going to show you um, how to put the Bellamy extensions in. Right now, all I have in my hair is the Keratin Perfect, the Blowout Smooth, and then also um, the Keratin Therapy, and this is just like the Keratin Perfect BB Cream. Um, and I put this from mid shaft to ends, just a little bit around my the top of like my hairline to help smooth. And then I actually put maybe like a pea size through my ends once um, my hair was dry just to help smooth it just a little bit more. So whenever I put in my Bellamy extensions, I basically start at the very nape of my neck. Just because they are so long, I like to leave barely any hair down. This is all I leave at the bottom because I hate it whenever you see the girls and they have like that disconnect with their hair from their extensions and it makes it really obvious. So at the very nape of my neck, I actually, in a previous video, said I was going to use the three, but I actually, at the very nape, I'm going to use the two clip just because my nape is really narrow and you literally snaps in just like that. Super easy. So now, you can see once we curl this, this is such a thin amount of hair, it's going to blend right in with the extensions. So I like to leave very little natural hair with, to kind of compete with the extension hair. This next section, I'm actually going to take just as thin of a slice. Again, not much hair at all, but I'm actually going to do a three clip for this one because my neck has started to get a little wider. Again, not much natural hair versus the extensions once you curl it or even if you straightened it. Just style it together so that they kind of melt themselves together and it'll blend fine. I don't use a comb. There's no reason for these sections to be perfect going to clip in regardless and I'm continuing up the same path with very thin slices. I'm going to use the three clip again and everyone's head is different size. Going to go through your head and see which width extensions you want to put where before you do it. It's going to make your life way easier when you're doing it. I'm now moving to a four clip and I do use the beach blonde extensions from Bellamy. I think that that blonde matches my blonde pieces perfectly. I did have to put a few low lights in. I used eight stroke three with Wella Color, professional hair color, and the 1.9 Color Touch developer. And I just put, I made them a little chunky as you see like when you look at them. They look like, oh my gosh, that's a huge skunk stripe, but it blends awesome once it gets into your hair. If you were to use little fine low lights throughout, you're actually just going to overall darken the extensions because once it gets to the bottom, they're going to diffuse. You're not going to be able to see like the low lights, and I love to see dimension, so that's why I did mine so chunky. It's not like they're chunky on top of my head. It does not look stripey at all. But I find that that's how I get the best results when low lighting long hair. Even if it's your real hair. Do your low lights kind of chunkier underneath. It'll blend better. And then 
make them finer as you work towards the top of your head and less towards the front of your face because you want it to look natural and like the sun has lightened around your face. Okay, now I've used all the fours and all the threes. I do have one two left, so I'm going to take that and put it, since my hair is parted in the middle today, I'm actually going to just put it right here, but if my hair was parted to the side, I actually usually would use it on this side because you have more hair to blend in over here and you don't want to have big chunks on this side. But for today, my hair is parted in the middle, so I'm going to put it in the middle in the back. Okay, all of my rows are put in. I now just have the single pieces. And these I did not low light. I left the beach blonde color. So what I'm going to do is I just kind of look in the mirror and see what needs connecting. Obviously in front of the ears need connecting. If I'm going to wear my hair down, I actually kind of angle these this way a little bit to make it fall forward so it doesn't just blend back here and leave this chunk up front. So I do actually angle them this way. I'm going to put my first one right here to blend in these pieces at an angle like that. And then again, I'm going to kind of put it down. I see I need some help right here. And then there. This I can blend in easy, no problem. All right, so they are now in. Now I'm actually today I'm going to use the. Um, one and a half inch Hot Tools curling iron. Whenever I use a curling iron, I can move a lot faster than if I use a uh, wand. I love using wands. I love the curl they give, but I can go so much quicker with this. So, first things first, I'm going to work around my face. I still take diagonal sections around my face because I, for some reason I just feel like that looks more natural. And I curl away from my face. And I just kind of keep it moving. Start at the top and work your way down, always moving away from your face. And the two products that I put in are heat protectants. You can use another type of heat protectant, any type of aerosol heat protectant that you want with this, or even a cream. I do recommend having some type of heat protectant on your hair throughout you styling it.
I'm sorry, I'm moving as fast as I can. Okay, also as you look through the ends, you can see the low lights scattered throughout here. If you had done them fine, you wouldn't see that. It would look like an overall just darker color. If you like that look or you're just trying to darken them, then yes, you can do them very um, fine so that they do blend. But note that if the blonde pieces are what you are matching your hair towards, it's going to look darker all over. So you're going to almost look like you have reverse ombre. So keep that in mind. That's why I feel like it's really important to do ch chunkier lowlights through the bottom. Okay, one side done. We're going to let that cool. Move to the other side. And I'm probably taking about two inch, two inches thick sections. If you're using the wand, use thinner sections because otherwise, I don't feel like, because you're not having heat on top and on bottom, you don't get through the hair as much. So use thinner sections if you are using a wand. And I will do a tutorial with the wand here soon. We are almost done. I'm going to show you how to break this up and style it. Always make sure, except for the very front pieces, you find an extension to put with any section of your natural hair that you curl. Don't curl just your hair because it will make it look too separated away from the extensions. So make sure you always have like an uh, extension and natural hair to kind of marry together when you're curling. <laughs> 